Okay, it's going 913, 14 RPMs. That is my power regulator. It's adjusted to go that fast. And right here, we are going to put a light so it goes under load. See the light? That's the light. That's the voltage off two of the coils, only two. And we're going to look at the meter here. 894. Ninety-three, eight hundred and ninety-one. It's ninety-three again. Ninety-seven. Eight hundred and ninety-six. 97, 98, 99, 900. The zeros look like eights. Sorry about that. I don't got a good meter. But it'll just keep going up because it's under load with a light. That's what you wanted to see. And that little one gets tied around and it goes to the bottom of the base over here to this coil and I'm getting readings off this coil and this coil over there and only those two coils are almost four, four volts that's not including this one or the one over there Okay, so if you added it all up, you'd probably get about 8 volts, you know, and it'll speed up, and when it speeds up, it'll get more voltage. We're going to shut this down here. We're just going to unclip this. See, there's no strings attached. Light bulb still connected. That was the motor. See that? The voltage is going down because the rotor is slowing down. If that makes any sense. And just under here is the regulator I had in the first video. And it's only going like that fast. That's not very fast at all. It's putting out one, one and a half volts. So you can see, can see how good and how powerful these magnets are. These magnets float they're actually suspended here in the air and these are my cutters I call them cutters uh, this uh, mechanism is patent pending so it is it does work and most of the world out there does not know it so I'm just bringing this to let you know and we're just going to shut that off. By the way, that voltage was AC. Um, you can change it into DC and get about the same thing. So this is just an RC motor here. I got some screws. I got a bearing there. It's floating there. Two magnets repelling. Wings I carved by myself. It took me a while to carve them. Um, and if you just have any more questions, just uh, comment, and uh, thank you very much.